Hey, look, I'm gonna be real. The only reason why I'm making this video is because, boy, I'm getting subs, and my views are popping off. So yeah, if I if I drop like a hundred tutorials this month, don't blame me. I'm trying to grow. But you're not telling me it's hate said here. Today I'm just gonna show you how to make ethnic NY jewel loops. So let's get straight into it. Alright, so here's the preview of the sample. The sample I sent over was my boy Target. So let's check this out. Alright, so let me break this down. First thing I did was literally I added this pad. I don't even know what one shot kit is from. Uh, it's just called Galaxy in it. And the thought process behind this was basically I did a triad. I think this is a triad, but I don't know. Don't blame me. So this chord here, this was the root note, and then one, two, three. It's so F. And one, two, three, four. And I literally just did the same thing. Except this one, this one's a bit sticky. And this one too. But yeah, that's what I literally did, and this is what it sounds like originally. Though. Uh. And so next, what I did was I grabbed this Keyzone piano. This piano right here is lovely, it's free. I'll link it down in the description. Yamaha Grand Piano. I literally put half time. EQ, EQ the low mids, put some reverb on it, and then quick RC20, feel me? No wobble. And also, I forgot to tell you that what I used for the pad was half time, gross beat fading, and then some EQ, reverb, RC20. My shit's always the same, I don't know why, don't blame me. But here's what the piano sounds like. Next what I did was I literally added a flute. Uh, this is a Bansuri lick, Ethno World 6. Here's what it sounds like. Sometimes you gotta use some licks in it. I got I got bored of just using the the normal like key and stuff, so I just started using licks. And what I did was I didn't add half time. I just added EQ. I don't know what the I don't even think I need that. <laughs> Uh, reverb, RC20, you already know the vibes. Next up, I added this key just for ambience. And literally did the exact same thing, I think. Wait, wait now, I had a half time EQ. I did some, I did some weird thing with this. Just put this wet. And then RC20, literally the exact same. And then finally, I added this accent. I think it's like DB Digital's one shot kit. Go cop it. It's cold. I might have to cut that out. But, anyways, one thing you guys should use is you need to learn how to mix your samples because I'm telling you. The mixing carries this. Like, let me show you what it sounds like without samples. Let me turn. Let me turn on the half. Let me obviously turn on the half time, but that's what it sounds like before. It sounds. It sounds a bit trash. But then yeah, look at this. Sounds way beautiful. Sounds. Sounds way more beautiful. Not something. Anyways, this one literally sounds like this. Never mind. Wait. See how, how shit it sounds. It sounds just shit. But when I add the effects, sounds beautiful. Anyways, for this one, sounds dry. Look, let me just play it. Bro, this sounds dry as hell, okay? Please mix your stuff if you're making samples, please. This is literally what it sounds like, it sounds beautiful. This sounds beautiful, man, and and the key, even the keys, like look at this, without anything, 
It sounds terrible. Like literally mixing carries any sound. Like literally, I can grab the shittest bell in the world made by some producer who started like two days ago. I can make it sound beautiful with mixing. I'm telling you right now, you need to learn how to mix. I might drop a tutorial on how I mix my samples. I don't know why, but yeah, I might as well. Anyways, what I added was on the master, nothing. I forgot that. Anyways, after that, I literally structure it out like this. Basically, what I like to do is basically, I like to. Hold up. Basically, what I like to do is pad, pad, maybe a little melody or two, and then the full thing, and then just like stem it out. And then I, ex I exported it and pitched up by 200. And that's pretty much it, yeah. So let's play the let's play the original sample again. And yeah, that's it. One tip I'm gonna tell you guys for you new producers that are probably on this channel, like let's say one month, two months in, please, when you're making samples, don't overcomplicate them, please. I'm telling you right now, man. Like literally, all of this it sounds it sounds complicated. I mean, I don't know, I don't know. You think you, but this sounds complicated to me. Like if I was a noob to this, I'd be like, what the hell, the fuck did he make this? But literally. I literally use a simple pad chord progression. Simple keys, simple just top melody chords, I don't know. Keys, whatever. And then I just added a flute lick. And then and then another chord progression. And I literally have an accent here. Simple, simple, the simplest key. Literally just one, two, three, four. So simple. And it makes the melody just beautiful. And what I'm trying to say is basically make simple melodies and then layer them layer them layer them and they will sound like you're the next q beats it's crazy but anyways man i hope you enjoyed this video drop a like if you enjoyed share subscribe comment do do your thing in it and i'm out peace